We think of lasers as being incredibly powerful, but only very unique lasers can perform in the harsh environment of space. In the mid-1990s, laser technology was still immature for NASA's space-based missions. At that point, the agency was looking at long-duration missions to study the effects of clouds and aerosols on the Earth's climate system. FiberTech also knew that existing laser technology needed a lot of improvements to be space qualified. They believe their new laser design might be what NASA needed. They're very sensitive to small misalignments, to changes in temperature, and, and one of the things I think that, that FiberTech specialized in was building lasers that are more tolerant of temperature extremes and bad environments and things. One of the SBIR-funded lasers they developed was integrated into the Goddard LiDAR Observatory for Winds, or GLOW program, that measures wind speeds and directions. With funding from Ball Aerospace and NASA Langley Research Center, the firm also built a prototype laser transmitter for a NASA Langley Research Center mission to measure clouds and aerosols. Under another SBIR award, the firm began working with engineers at Langley Research Center to design and develop laser packaging technology that would improve the lifetime and performance of lasers in a controlled, contaminant-free vacuum. The firm knew that the technology packaging would be a critical requirement for the laser to be able to operate successfully in space. Because of their success, both SBIR projects became the foundation for the design and development of a new space-based aerosol LiDAR transmitter for NASA's Cloud Aerosol LiDAR and Infrared Pathfinder Satellite Observations mission, known as Calypso. The Goddard work was a little more focused on really laser design uh, from a optical point of view, where the Langley work was a little more focused on making the packaging of the laser robust. So the two of them married well kind of in going into Calypso. With funding from Langley and the Ball Aerospace Corporation, FiberTech first built and tested a space-qualifiable prototype to reduce the risk in the development of the actual Calypso flight laser. Working with the Langley team and the Ball engineers, the company then developed a space-qualified laser transmitter and the packaging for the laser. The packaging affords improved contamination control procedures, significantly advancing the state-of-the-art lasers by making them more robust. FiberTech developed two space-qualified laser systems to Ball Aerospace, and the flight laser was integrated into the Calypso mission payload. The technology FiberTech developed is critical to the mission, because Calypso's principal investigators believe the laser transmitter is the heart of the primary instrument on board the mission. More recently, under a Phase 3 contract from Langley, the firm developed an enhanced LiDAR system transmitter that has been used in an air monitoring campaign over Mexico. And through NASA's Advanced Technology Initiatives Program, or ATIP, the firm is working on the next generation laser with Langley. The new design is destined for a space-based ozone monitoring system.